Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Zane and welcome to Zane's of the View. This is a K-pop edition. And this one's about speed. Now I just saw Sabrina and Ralph who still, to me, I, I've seen other people do their videos and they're funny and stuff, but Sabrina and Ralph to me are the best. I enjoy their videos and this one, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Two in one, baby. You got speed. You got it's my fault. And you got it's over. They had to do two together because they didn't have time to do it. I I can understand they're very busy people. So they don't always have the time to do stuff. But as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, they do care for y'all. They love y'all. So this is what they did. Now, I'm doing my perspective on what they saw. I've actually seen the videos after I saw their response to it. And damn, it was like they threw a little bit of history in with the first one and a little bit of a lot of other stuff in the second one. For It's My Fault, it felt like the 19, no, 1989 revolt of China. I'm sorry. That's how it felt for me. And the things about the video, first off, it felt like they were, they were on a damn ship. The way they were dancing around had did the did how the camera view was swinging back and forth I almost felt like I was on a damn ship which was actually a nice touch it was very nice second which I really believe this is what I got from Sabrina and Ralph they had like a rap with a ballad or a nice ballad beat in it I understand that but for me it felt Jamaican-ish what I mean by that basically it felt like it was Jam uh, a little bit of Jamaican thrown in some of the real, really um, smooth type of Jamaica music, like some Bob Marley would throw out. Where it, it was very touching and very powerful and it, you just know it came from Bobby. You just can know how that beat felt. That at least for me. That if anybody else has any idea about it, please leave a comment below because for me it felt Bob Marley-ish. It wasn't like a a bite off of a, a basically a Jamaican beat a really sweet ballad but that's how it felt to me the rap was very good I enjoyed it now the story itself like I said to me it felt like something that happened in China back in 1989 when they had like the, the the students getting their asses kicked and that one guy that was standing in front of a tank ready to get his butt run over literally if anybody can catch it online, you can see a guy in front of a giant tank about to get run down back in 1989. Well, most of you probably wasn't born yet. But honestly, that is a, a memory that not many people forget. But the thing that gets me was that they use an American tank in the movie. In this mo movie-like music video. If you see near the end when the guys are coming out with the bats and... In China, that's what they did. They actually, no, actually they didn't do that. They actually did that in America. <laughs> Sorry. They did things like that in America. You used bats to beat the hell out of, each, out of each other. And the guns to actually kill one another. 1960s. Wasn't my time. I wasn't born then. But <laughs> seeing these guys willing to go up against the military with bats, ready to fight, and seeing this girl and this guy together, it's, like an, it's kind of like getting a woven love story, if you can get that bit. And seeing that guy's face completely covered in bruises and the girl and guy together. But when you see the final contra confrontation and then you see a tank roll forward, that was old American Sherman tank. Now that tank was built back in the 1930s. How the hell they get their hands on that, I don't know. They must have rented that sucker out somewhere in, in Korea. I don't know how. But they rented out an American tank. That's some old mess right there. <laughs> the ending was very, very dramatic. Seeing both of them being separated. You think they're going to do a second, a second music video on that? Maybe they do. I may have to actually check up on the Speed um, YouTube website to see. Because I only saw the two videos. So the next one, which is It's Over. This was a freaky ass movie. I'm sorry. I'm going to call the music video a movie. I'm sorry. That's how I feel about it. Because it was almost like looking at a movie with speed. And the opening of it with the lighting. The lighting just like. Oh. You were right Ralph. 
You are 100% right. The, the lighting is what brought you in, sucked you in. It felt like Doctor Who from the 60s for me. I saw the 60s stuff. And you see the opening of Doctor Who, and a lot of the lighting was like that. The neon, oh, that neon was sweet. I got to admit that. I love the neon and then the break dancing. And I can tell you, it was very nice break dancing. Very nice neon. And then seeing the neon chair. Sabrina, you're right. That looks like Jimi Hendrix would really be sitting that sucker and enjoying himself going, yeah, this is my chair. Yeah, you want it? Forget you. <laughs> That's how it felt with him putting his arm on the chair, both his arms on the chair and just relaxing. Jimmy would have enjoyed that type of chair. But the way the rest of the music video went, more of the dancing was more interesting than the beat. The beat wasn't that strong to me. The rap was very good. I enjoyed the rap. And all of them rapping, I felt a couple of others had better raps than some. I can't really say who had better raps, but maybe about two of them really could rap really well. That's how I felt. The others could rap, but it, it, they don't seem to have more energy than the other. The, I think the first two you saw when they started to rap, for me, felt like they had the stronger rapping ability than the others that came after them. That's how I felt. The choreographing, the dancing, it, it kind of felt like a mixture of well, the dancing was good, but it felt like Beat It from the 80s, which is nothing wrong with that. The way you had the dancing, it felt like Beat It, but then it felt a little strange that it also felt like something else. I couldn't put my finger on it at first because it also felt like another type of music video or another type of movie, in real, a real movie, that it was mixed with. It was like it was supposed to be confrontational. I also felt like it was a little bit of Billie Jean with the girl. The girl danced, uh, not dance. the girl sung so well. Sorry, I said dance. The girl sung very well. I like her voice. She has a very sweet voice. And to me, it felt like the guys were dancing for her. Now I remember West Side Story. I know that sounds a little weird, dude. Where are you getting all this crazy stuff from? If you saw it from this perspective, the way these guys were dancing, it was like they were going up against someone. And I'm talking about it's over. It felt like they were dancing against somebody. And there was nobody to dance against. That's how I felt about it. But then, that's where the beat it part came in. And the West Side Story came in. But when you include the girl, it kind of felt like... Um, Billie Jean if the girl was actually seen in the face because in the original music video with Michael Jackson you couldn't see the girl's face you saw her silhouette then you saw her in the bed but you never heard her sing you never saw her move around I got that kind of feeling that she was unattainable and they were dancing for her to try and get her I know that doesn't really make much sense to anybody else if you if you make any if you understand what I'm saying leave a comment below or you tell me you really are off I understand that. I just see things from a different perspective. Even people that know me say, man, you really think outside the box. That's how I am. I think outside the box. I'm just different. But that's how I saw the video. Really felt like that to me. Now, were these two videos good? Yeah, they were. The first one, I admit, had more, more energy and feeling. The energy was like trying to tell a story of something that might have happened in either Korean history or in Chinese history, like I said, with the revolt in 1989, where basically the students didn't want to want, they want to change, but they wouldn't, wasn't willing to fight the government. And like I said, that guy was standing in front of the tank at um, Tiananmen Square. That was a strong energy, energy rich and emotional moment. That's what I got from the first music video. So I really felt the first music video was much more stronger than the second. But the one that gave much more weirdness, I felt, was the second music video because of how the lighting was. Ralph is right. If anyone doesn't think that the lighting wasn't something that was more enticing than the music or the rapping or the dance, the music really was the weakest thing there. 
The lighting was the strongest thing. The rapping was the second strongest thing. And then the dancing was the third strongest, at least from my humble perspective in understanding K-pop. I am still nothing but a novice who is, if you're gonna wonder what the hell I am in thinking about K-pop, I actually like it. It's actually very interesting and it's really a lot of fun to enjoy. Now for someone who's not in your age bracket, you would think someone like me wouldn't want to enjoy something like that, but yeah, is it really a lot of fun to watch it? So I hope you like the Zane's other view. Subscribe and comment to Zane's view if you want something different. And please subscribe and comment to Sabrina and Ralph because they do really good videos. I wouldn't even do this if it wasn't for them. I'm not trying to kiss their butts. Really, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just saying this because I, I really do enjoy their videos. And they, and I've said this if you look at my, my own video select selection that I made is there have been several people who inspired me to do these videos and Sabrina Roth kind of gave me a little bit more because they're doing something they really love and I've been doing this because of therapy in a sense because I've been very badly depressed of my situation I'm in I'm not going to explain it all if you want to know what's going on you have to check my videos but um, I've been in a lot of bad stuff right now so I've been looking at people for a while and Sabrina and Ralph kind of inspired me a little bit. That's kind of the truth. I mean, they're funny. I enjoy them, but you know, I've seen some of their videos and they're very honest about their videos. And it kind of inspired me to say, you know what? Damn, dude, what, what, why can't you do what they're doing? They're doing something they really love. And you like watching them and everybody else. Give it a shot. They took the risk to put themselves out there and feel awkward about it. If they had the strength to do it, so can you. So uh, uh, that's kind of the truth right now, right, right there, ladies and gentlemen. I just put myself out there saying that these two kind of help inspire me where there's a lot of people other than them that have, they also did it too. I think it was the Gundam style video. The first one I saw of them that really kind of inspired me to want to keep help me keep doing this and that's that's not no joke sorry i kind of let this drag on sorry i hope you enjoyed the zane's other view and i hope you enjoyed the reaction to sabrina ralph peace